Then we have the most famous of Magritte's work, arguably, the Son of Man. So he paints this as a self-portrait. And it may seem odd because, of course, it's blocked, but yet that's part of the beauty of it. The man's face is largely obscured by this hovering green apple. However, the man's eyes can be seen peeking over the edge of the apple. Another subtle feature is that the man's left arm appears to be bent backwards at the elbow, uh, as if the arm has been applied the wrong way. So, as we start to look at it, what you'll notice is, for example, this arm, this elbow specifically, looks as if it's been put on uh, facing the wrong direction. Maybe a, a little unusual twist, maybe getting at the fact that even what appears to be anonymity and commonality, normality, is in fact none of those things. We just don't make that abnormal behavior that we all have commonly accessible. We don't uh, announce it. About the painting, Magritte said, at least it hides the face partly. Well, so you have the apparent face, the apple, hiding the visible, but hidden, the face of the person. So what he's getting at is this is anonymity, the anonymity of the middle class, the fact that you don't read history books about specific people in the middle class. Uncle Ed, who went and worked for 30 years in the accounting department at Miller, is not going to have a book written about him. He's not going to be remembered. 15 years from now, no one will remember. I mean, assuming uh, he you know, dies, 15 or 20 years from now, no one will remember who Uncle Ed is. And that anonymity is what Magritte is trying to capture. It's something that happens constantly. Everything we see hides another thing. We always want to see what is hidden by what we see. And here there is an interest in that, in that which is hidden and which the visible does not show us. This interest can take the form of a quiet, quite intense feeling, a sort of conflict, one might say, between the visible that is hidden and the visible that is present. But let's get at, at a couple of other ideas. Why the apple? Well, the apple to him is a symbol of the bag lunch that so many of these middle class people will take with them uh, to the office. The white shirt, red tie, coat, this he sees as the uniform of the middle class along with the bowler cap. Remember, this is Belgium, they wear bowler caps. The grayness, just sort of the mundane, mundane aspects of middle class life as Magritte sees it. Now, keep in mind, he makes the choice to be part of this middle class instead of living the more ostentatious life. But he's still saying it's very anonymous. It's very dull or it can be very dull because for many of these people, it's go to the office, come home, deal with housework, go to sleep, wake up, go to the office, come home, deal with housework, make dinner, go to sleep. Just this constant repetition. And therefore, constant anonymity, because you don't recognize these people on the street uh, unless you happen to personally know one of them. And that's what he's getting at when he talks about the hidden and the visible. We can see, for example, uh, the apple, but we cannot see the middle class businessman behind it. When we look at the middle class businessman, there are things that are hidden in his personality that we can't see. Just seeing him doesn't tell us anything about him. It doesn't tell us... Uh, his fantasies and his desires. So there's always the question of what we're seeing versus what we're not seeing. And he makes that very tangible here because we're not seeing the businessman, we're not seeing the middle class worker because of the apple. And thus it reminds us that we can never really see uh, the middle class throngs that really run so much of the world around us.